Hey everyone, this is Reed, and I got something new and a little odd for you. This is what I got. Pull it out here, give you a look. It's an old traditional straight razor. I've been shaving with this for several months now. What in the world for? Well, like I said, I like to learn how to do things the hard way now, so they're not very hard when I need to do them. One thing that's always concerned me is after their great epoch comes to pass is, well, how do you keep shaving? And I'm one of those people that has a horrifically itchy beard, can't stand it when it gets very long. Plus, what do we do if we got lice? Or what if we got to shave a whole area, make it real nice and bare for medical reasons? Maybe a small surgery, something like that. Well, we're all using disposable razors all the time. There isn't going to be an easy answer to that. So I invested in one of these. I had no idea what I was doing when I first got into this. Absolutely none. Spent a lot of time on the internet, reading forums. Took me a long time to even find one to start with. I'll put the link in the video description so you can check it out. There's actually a cheap one you can get on Amazon. And it actually holds a fairly good edge. This one's one called Gold Dollar. And it's $25. I found it a good deal to try it out. Turns out I also really like it. One of the other weird problems I have, I know, I have lots of weird problems, but I'm also a prepper, so I'm very weird. Just takes out it is, it's life for me. When I was over in Eastern Europe, I noticed that, hmm, the water here is different. And I always had a lot of trouble when I'd shave over here in the US, especially if I shaved every day. The number of little tiny ingrown hairs I would get and the skin irritation was immense. Well, when I was in Eastern Europe, I didn't have this problem at all. And when I'm talking Eastern Europe, I mean Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, that area. Yeah, I've been around those places. And I had a nice time over there. It was very interesting. But I'll explain all my trips and travels over there some other time. What was really interesting was their water. I loved how wonderful it tasted too. It was amazingly refreshing. And compared to some of the other places that I've been to, you didn't have that horrible traveler's diarrhea. It actually agreed with me just fine. So whatever was in their water in terms of microbes wasn't a problem for me being used to it here. Now eventually I put it two and two together to realize what was going on. Because whenever I go to the dentist and they decide to give me a fluoride rinse on my teeth, my gums burn like crazy. Yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. I have a sensitivity to fluoride. And it took a long time to fully figure that out. Really nice to know that your water that's coming out of your pipes isn't any good. One of the big reasons why I wanted to get my own well to avoid this problem. However, I still couldn't get rid of the entire problem I was trying to solve, which was the small ingrown hairs I constantly got. Problem from that is, is I need a really sharp, very sharp blade to make certain I get a really good shave. And my skin is unfortunately very sensitive. Yeah, I'm a sensitive guy, can't you tell? Well, I'm not exactly rich enough to afford to buy brand new razor blades for every single day. It's kind of a really annoying problem. Plus, have you seen how expensive they're charging for those crazy razor blades? It's nuts. I figured, though, with a traditional straight razor, well, you know, I could sharpen it every day. I could put a perfect razor's edge on this thing and get the shave I wanted. Now, it's funny, this is when I asked my you know, father, hey, what do you think of a straight razor? The story I got from that was instantly, you'll kill yourself. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, interesting. You know, or the speech of, there was a reason why we invented disposable razors or safety razors. Those things are horrible. 
you can't possibly imagine wanting to use one of those things. Well, like I said, I like to do things the hard way. Now, learning how to shave with one of those things is a little bit of a challenge. And plus, you have to be a little bit steady and have a good hand. You also need to show good dexterity in what you're doing. You get to twist your arm around in some odd positions and use your left hand. Now, I'm a little ambidextrous, so it's not a big issue for me. For other people, I can see it as a challenge. It's also a bit of a challenge is once you have these things honed out to razor sharpness, well, any mistake you make, you're going to bleed. And I seem to always even make a tiny nick. The thing always draws a little bit of blood. But it doesn't really bug me that much. You know, it's not really a project until you bleed. I've actually come to actually enjoy the process. And it is a process. It's not something you just like, oh, it's time for a shave today. Lather up, shave real quick, and off we go. It is a process. You have to get that edge on that blade. It has to be razor sharp. And I mean extremely sharp. A slightly dull one of those razors is like taking sandpaper and scrubbing it all across your face. It's utterly miserable. The other thing about it is you need time. You need to get some hot towels. Prepare your mix for your cream to shave with. And then you need to carefully take your time and shave. The last thing you absolutely need is someone barging in, pounding on the door, asking you a question while you're trying to shave your upper lip. Great way to end up with major stitches. So you need time to yourself. But at the same time, that process, there's a refreshingness to it. I kind of really like it. A ritual, a thing to do, where you focus on this one simple task, put it together, complete it. You know, it's wonderful. There's always these things. I don't know. I've always been one of those men that likes some of these little rituals. And sharpening knives, making a razor, and then doing a shave, they all fit together in that. Sort of a mental refresher. Like if you got a really big problem, eh, sit down, sharpen a knife. Let your mind wander as you work and focus on the task. Let yourself percolate and sort out what's going on. And the solution later appears. So why sometimes I think work today is so out of balance. They're always like, oh, you, you're, you know, really high specialized, very skilled employee. We need you to only focus on these tasks. No doing these other simple tasks ever. We need you to focus maximum value at these things. Well, you're unbalancing your workers horribly. They need to be able to have time to do something simple, to put the big focus, the big problems in the back of their mind and let the subconscious sort of chew on them, work on them. And solutions often come together much better. One of the things I love to do is go for a walk. Just walk around, look at everything. But... Life today is way too complicated in many ways. I think that's one of the reasons why I actually like pushing back, trying to find simpler ways of doing things. Although, yes, if you've watched my videos, a lot of times the way I define it as simple isn't really simple to most other people. For me, though, I find it simple. But anyways, I wanted to really give this idea for people. To think, hey, maybe I should get a straight razor. Be a good investment. And this also includes the women. Being able to remove hair, also, if you want to keep your legs shaved and stuff like that, you can use one too. I've had my wife try it out, and uh, while she isn't as well practiced yet, she has found it to actually work well enough. The other thing, if you get a bad life infestation, Gotta have a nice way to get all the hair off that's at least reasonable. And one of these could do the job. Or, if we have a medical problem and you need to clean out an area, same thing. Now, I don't really go for super baby butt smooth, but I go for a nice close shave. And it does a really nice job. Now, to prepare this razor, a couple things to keep in mind. 
whetstones. I actually sharpen this every time I use it. And I actually go through the process of going through an 8,000 grit to a 10,000 grit whetstone. Here's what this one looks like. This one's a fairly new whetstone I've been working with. I'm liking it. I'll give you a review on this later. And finally, a leather strope. This one is mounted on a block. I find it nice to work with. It helps also easy to line up the edge, I find. It's also got the compound, the rubbing compound, polishing compound already in it. This is by a company called Knives Plus. I'll leave the link in the description if people want. And the whetstones if you want to see what I've been using. Once running through all of these, produces a really, really good razor's edge. And then I get to have a very nice shave. So I hope you don't mind this sort of rambling video. I hope I've given you another idea for something to try. I do hope you give it a shot. Like I said, doing things hard now make life a lot easier after the collapse. Take care, everyone. Let me know what you think. Look forward to it. And this is Reed, out for now.